If you've been in a car crash, listen up. Could you or your loved one be suffering this silent injury to the brain? Our goal here is to be champions for the injured. Hi, my name is personal injury attorney Brad Lakin, and I'd like to take the next couple minutes to discuss with you one of the hidden silent injuries that I see a lot with clients. They first come to me with no symptoms or no diagnosis of a head injury or a brain injury. And what we find is, is when we start talking to their family members and friends, they notice a drastic difference between the person before and after the injury, but it's just kind of perceived as just a change and that's it. It's often as a result of what we call a mild traumatic brain injury. And the word mild can be misleading. But in any event, in a car accident, what happens is, is there's the effect called coup counter coup. Coup being at the impact point. So this is the brain, the frontal lobe of the brain, or it can happen anywhere, but the coup is usually the injury site where there's an impact because the brain is coming forward into the, into the skull and compressing. So it can be from that impact and then the brain crashing forward into the skull and then abruptly thrown backwards into this part of the skull. So the coup is right where the impact is and then the counter coup is the opposite side of the brain. And so what we see often is that these symptoms go undiagnosed because they're not apparent. In fact, m most MRIs do not diagnose the injuries of the neurons in the brain on MRI. So you could have had an MRI or a CT scan uh, and it been perfectly negative, but yet had a, a brain injury. So if there are certain symptoms that you'll want to look for in, in people who may have sustained a mild traumatic brain injury, those can be memory loss, those can be executive, what they call executive functioning problems where they just don't seem to be as organized as they once were, memory loss, um, slight speech disturbances, not necessarily something that you would notice unless you've really been around the person a lot or where the person kind of stops mid-sentence and seems to be grabbing for a word. All of those types of things can be indicative of a mild traumatic brain injury. So if, if you see that pattern uh, with a loved one or with yourself, uh, I strongly encourage you to discuss it with your doctor. Uh, they should uh, assess you and determine whether you need to see a neuro, uh, neurologist or a neuropsychologist who can help uh, diagnose whether or not you've had a mild traumatic brain injury. So I hope that this information has been helpful. And if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.